In May, our team went on a 12-day trip to Europe to play volleyball and travel. We got to explore places that we've never explored before, different cultures, different volleyball atmosphere. One, two, three. This trip really grew our team culture and just kind of the way we all like work together, like we all bonded a lot. We spent a lot of time together, so we kind of learned the ins and outs of every single person. We arrived in Prague, and we were there for three or four days, and ended up in Slovenia. And that's where the volleyball really started to pick up. The girls got a little bit more confident. And by the last matches we played in Milan, we were playing at an extraordinarily high level. Playing teams from Europe was really cool because some of them were older, but a lot of them were younger. So we got to see like the cultural differences, like where we were during this time in our life and where they are. The competition was really good. Lots of different styles of volleyball. Candy. Candy. Hello. Beauty. We actually met up with one of our incoming players who lives in Madrid, Spain, and she joined us for the entirety of the tour. We were able to integrate her into the roster. When she got off the plane and we got her on the bus and she got to meet the team that she had found a home away from home was pretty special. And seeing the Indiana team look at her and say, okay, we've got another player that can flat out ball, made it really fun. Competitively, you wanted to play good matches and real matches. We had a really young team in 2021. We were returning almost everyone. So for me, it was important for them to get the experience of playing really good teams. I bet you 95% of my group had never left the country. So that was important just for them to travel. We're in Venice. We're in Venice, baby. The Chauvin in Milan was beautiful. Venice was insane. There was just so many things in general that I couldn't pinpoint exactly what we loved about every city. Just a common word, beautiful. <laughs> the time we got to spend with Steve's family was super special. As a group, we kind of had a lot of time with the three little kids, so it was super fun for us to have inside jokes with them and just like spend a lot of time and kind of like reliving our childhood through them. What made me most filled with joy and happiest on the trip was to see my family's interaction with my team. We walked with the team a lot and it was fun to be around them because we're not usually around them besides like games or when they're here with our dad. So it was fun to be around them kind of like outside the volleyball setting. You're right. When you start to recruit the team and you start to spend a lot of time around them and then they get to know you as a, as a human being, not just Coach Steve, but Steve the husband, Steve the dad, Steve the best friend, they get to see a different side of you. I got to see another side of them. This trip came in the perfect time for our team. Coming together in this 10-day trip was super special. We bonded like we've never before. When you travel, you change. It changes who you are and you get different experiences that give you different contacts in life. Hopefully they see from Bloomington, Indiana, there's a whole world out there they can go and attack and enjoy.